To the main event champion go two big rewards. The money and the bracelet. As day two of the 2008 main event begins, two players remain who know a thing or two about both. Eric Lindgren finally got his first bracelet this year, and a main event title would culminate a Dream World Series. Win that, they're gonna remember you forever. Scotty Wynn wants to forget last year's main event collapse and move past this year's horse drama. Enough is enough, man. Another world championship may do the trick. I want to be Miz again. Yes! That's Scotty Wynn's style, baby. The designs for the title could be spoiled by a talent-rich field that includes Barry Greenstein, Patrick Antonius, and Chow Zhang. All cash game specialists, all eyeing $9 million. Let's gamble. They've all had success this year. Now they're hungry for more. Let's go. But challenge number one is to get through day two. Welcome once again to the main event of the 2008 World Series of Poker presented by Milwaukee's Best Life with Norman Chad. I'm Lon McCarran. The players are making their way to their seats here in the Rio Poker Room as the first session of day two is about to begin. I'm going to win the World Series. Some of the game's top players are ready to continue their quest for a world championship. Horse world champion Scotty Wynn has yet to arrive, but fellow bracelet winner from this year, Barry Greenstein, is here, as is 2008 Player of the Year, Eric Lindgren. This is what day two feels like. And at table two, another first-time bracelet winner, Blair Hinkle, who along with his brother Grant made history by becoming the first siblings to win bracelets in the same year. Joining Blair is another young up-and-comer, Vanessa Russo. No pressure over here. And over at our featured table, three-time bracelet winner and cash game specialist, Chow Zhang. Chow prefers the big game, but he's also eighth all-time at the World Series with 45 caches. Chow, if you raise and I call, I got three aces, okay? That's all I'm telling you. Oh, you need two. No, I'm going to have to have three. I read some books, though, Chow, so be careful. Okay, good luck to you. Thank you. I, 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 know, I, need, I know I need it. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth lives here in Las Vegas, part-time actress. Says she's now a professional poker player. She was born in Austria, raised in Manhattan. And on the Milwaukee's Best Light Pocket Cam, Hannah looks down at pocket nines. Mm -hmm. She's been an actress, a TV personality, a public speaker, and even a Dolly Parton lookalike. Hannah raises the action to 2,500. Folds over to Chow Zhang now. Queen, ten of hearts for the 53-year-old pro. Chow is chow. Oh, Nothing no, fancy. Don't, no. Oh, my God. Don't do it. That's who aces? No, don't do it. Oh, <laughs> Chow makes the call. Come on. Don't knock me out my first hand. That's not right. <laughs> you know who you're playing against. I'm quivering. Do you see me shaking right now? Yeah. I'm terrified. <laughs> Please. And has got some competition already. Now, Garth Paul, 28 years old from Cleveland. A World Series rookie. He's got king ten right, offsuit. Right, right. And he oh, will make the call no from the big blind. Okay. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. She raised five times the big blind and got two callers. Flop is six queen deuce. Chow Zhang paired his queen to take the lead. Paul with king high checks. I'm checking to the greatness here. I'm checking to the greatness. The greatness gambled and hit the flop. He bets 6,000 with a best hand. Wow. All faults. Don't go broke now. I know. I'm a little, you're scaring the crap out of me, really. Be a man, raise him. <laughs> All right. You, you, you know what? I'm going to go be a little girl and just lay it down. Don't worry. Yeah, huh? yeah I could lay, lay down. down. Show me the queen. Good. He showed, queen I saw hearts. queen. Uh, oh. Good girl. She's got moxie. Huh? Chow wins the pot. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Oh, my God. This is a lot of pressure. I'm just a little girl from Iowa. I don't know about this stuff. Come on. Is that your from Iowa? Iowa. Yeah, well, Hannah's working the actress portion of her resume right there. She lost the pot, but maybe won a friend at this featured table. Norman, it took some time to get through the opening round, but day two is finally upon us. And while it's still relatively early in this marathon tournament, it does seem like success in the bracelet events can lead to momentum in the main event. Well, Eric Lindgren, the 2008 Player of the Year, is still around. Scotty Wynn, the 2008 Horse Champion, is still around. And one of our favorites, high-stakes maven Chow Zhang, cashed seven times at this World Series, and he's still around. The question now, will they be around after day two? The answer is in the cards. Did you just say it's in the cards? 
What, I have to run every stupid thing I say by you first? <laughs> to the outer tables, we find Eric Lindgren, the 2008 Player of the Year, and it's showdown time here at this table. Eric turns over pocket tens after the river. His opponent, Ed Jordan Buck. So a good start for Eric, as usual, here this year. Well, Eric's never made it past day two of the main event. He, he just finished third at the Horse Championship, which was a long day's journey in the night with Scotty Wynn. Scotty won the title, but his behavior ruffled a bunch of feathers, including Eric Lindgren's. Back to you, Norman. Actually, let's go over to Lon, huh? Thank you, Norman. And you know, let's I, go to Scotty Wynn. I, I, I thought I am going to play tomorrow. <laughs> He's sleeping in today. Yeah. I'm serious. I thought I'd play tomorrow. Man, lucky my wife. Why, why are you waking me up? That's why you have a wife. So a little confusion on Scotty's part about which day two he was to play. And there's Jason Young, who won his first bracelet this year, sitting at Scotty's table. Scotty started today with about 24,000 chips and gets right down to action with a raise. Yeah, actually, Scotty got a speeding ticket on his way over here, and now it seems like he wants to make up for lost time by immediately raising the pot. And he gets the rest of the table to fold, and so he will collect that small pot. So Scotty win here late, but right to work. All in on three. At another table, the man who busted Scotty from the main event last year, Philip Helm, is all in with pocket jacks against Neil McFadden's ace queen suited. And the flop, and there's a set for Helm. Turn card now, a royal flush draw for McFadden, but Quad Jacks will win the hand for Helm. It's good enough. It's good enough. Turn made it interesting. Wow. <laughs> Don't want to give this guy chip. Dangerous. He doesn't look that dangerous with that haircut. He looks like he's playing heads up for a snow cone. Helm doubled up, but still short stacked. And there's the last of the 55 bracelets to be awarded here at the Rio. And Chow Zhang is certain it would look good on him. What a surly bunch. Look at these guys. I feel like Wendy with the Lost Boys. You know that? I know a place where dreams are born. And I know a place where dreams come to die. <laughs> Too much information, Norman. <laughs> All right, action continues at this featured table. Chow Zhang, Jack Eight of Hearts. Pot Lim in Omaha is probably Chow's best game, but he plays them all well. A raise to 1,500. King Knight of Diamonds for oh, Garth yes. Paul, and he will call. He's engaged to be married. Never mind. That means he's committed to the flop, but he can get out before the river. <laughs> Paul and Jang heads up. The flop is queen 4-6, misses both. King high is best for Paul. Chow Zhang comes out with 3,000. Continuation bet for Chow. He's got nothing. Queen again. Luck the lady. Get the queen, ace queen. See how Chow is covering his mouth when he lied? Wow, Paul yeah. folds to the pro. It's good to be you, Chow. You know that? Well, Chow's reputation won that pot. The seasoned pro has this table right where he wants them. Throughout the years, the World Series of Poker has had many memorable players delivering unforgettable lines. You call going to be all over, baby. Pass the sugar. About themselves. I can dodge bullets, baby. About others. You call me a jack high. You got a little... But one of our favorite lines came in 2004 when Chow Zhang so eloquently shared his feelings about the game itself. Poker is nice. Poker is nice. Poker is nice. I have a lot to play poker. And poker loves Chow. He learned to play all the games when he was working as a cook in Colorado and figured out he could make a